Yeah, YouTube. I've been asked to build a motor by my lecturer as part of our assessment, and uh, it's going to run off six volts. Can't use a stator or rotor from an existing commercial unit, um, and it's got to be able to lift 10 grams over uh, one meter in one minute. Um, I was just using this for parts and then I thought, hey, you know what I'll do? I'll just be a smart ass and uh, make a motor out of it without uh, any coils, any magnets or anything else like that. And the simplest way to do that is a ball bearing motor. So this is something out of an air conditioner, I've got it at the scrapyard. It's got uh, one ball bearing in this side here, they normally clamp together. And then one ball bearing in this side here. I've left the, uh, it's a squirrel cage motor, I've left that on there, but it doesn't serve any function. It's a flywheel. So that's just to store momentum, just to get it cranking and make it more efficient. Uh, I'm cheating a bit because it's 12 volts, but it's actually meant to low on low, run on low voltage. Uh, so it'll run just as good on 6 volt. So basically all I do is give that a spin, and then if I can shuffle myself here and plug it in, there we go. Let's see it starting to spin up. Getting pretty fast. Okay, so that's how she works. And uh, it's already a bit smoky in here. And it gets really, really hot on them bearings. So that's the only downside. It's probably very inefficient. But uh, I don't know if you'll like that. I'll have to ask him and see whether I get a pass for it.